Is there any? Can, uh, yeah, I think so let me ask you this, this Jack. Let me know what light you see. Come on. I can't get a hold of them. Yep, you're good. Run down there. Do you have a way to talk to them? Do you talk to them? What do you think? There you go. You want to come yes. more in your pocket? Yeah, he said he wants two, two options. Yeah, he only wants two yeah. options here. Apparently some Mount Airy officer. Does Mount Airy even have a PD anymore? Yep. they're resident trooper. Hard 06. Hard 06. Hard 06. Thinking about uh, maybe bumping two more guys around to where the CS position is, just since, since we didn't put that other crew over there. That way we have a little more reinforced takedown team over there. Cut off team. Okay. I got the whole thing. You got the whole thing. Hey, uh, uh, Jansen. Let me see. Hey, hey, Danny. Yeah. Can you, uh, hey, Roy, can you take Danny's spot for a minute? I think so, because if he comes out that other door over there, I'd rather have an extra yep. couple guys over there to deal with it. Who's that? I didn't make any radio You want me to take Bill? No. Yeah. Okay. I didn't call him yet either, no. All right. Good. Hey, do you have their number? Can you call the hanger? As soon as you guys got that squared away, can one of you bump around with Roy just because he's got the 40, so that way we have a, a lethal and less lethal option there? Which way are you going to go, Danny, to get there? I think the same way they went in. You're going to go down that way? Yeah, we'll right? go down to 26. We'll come okay. up and then. All right. Baker and Waddell. You're going to have Tebbins and Jansen coming to you uh, just to support, to plus up your numbers back there. So they'll be coming to you, bringing the same route in that you guys took, FYI. Jack, 
how do you know that that's going to be the case? <laughs> you, uh, you, I, I understand that you've lived in Carroll County for a while, is that correct? I said I understand that you've lived in Carroll County for quite a while, correct? No, no, I'm asking you. I, I said I understand that you've lived in Carroll County for quite a while. Well, okay, well then, up on the uh, passenger side front fender. Right. Dave, I got Danny and Jansen going around. position now, Dave, if you didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, you got through that, though, didn't you? I mean, that, you, know, you, you worked your way through that situation, and, that, and, and I mean, look at where you're Outside at now. Two, you're, you're two three. A successful job, you draw blood as a phlebotomist, okay? doesn't necessarily mean that just because you go and talk to somebody at Carroll Hospital that they hold you for 72 hours. That's not... No, no, no. So, just got a lot of activity. If we can okay. get the... Uh, All right. I guess... I mean, I, I get up just um, trying to understand what you and talk with you like you asked me to give you a call and that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, so I'm just like... Why do we 
Dodd, who could be speaking of McKenzie. Do we have the little bot too? We have the little bot too. Say again. We have the little bot too. Or just negative. No. No. Just that guy. Trying to figure out the fucking aircraft right now. They got two other cars.
Conversation. He's just still talking to him about trying to talk him to come out to go to the hospital. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I wasn't trying to do that. It's just trying to figure out his level of agitation yeah. because, you know, we don't really get a forewarning when he pops to the door. Right, right, right. He's kind of dazed. What is that? Then he just so he does this. Uh, he's just he's just being chatty at the moment. Sitting down right here. Sitting so well.
that? Okay. Looks like he might have a flag in his hand or something. That's what saying. Sound like you were on the speakerphone. You said you were fixing something. He's up now. You getting a drink? I said you're getting like some water or food. Oh, okay. The door. I don't know. Oh. What, what is it you're fixing that you would have put outside for us? Yeah, he has his flag. Still in that one-two window, he's messing with the flag. Right, here she's in the one-two corner window, making the flag in his hand. Okay. Take a deep breath, I'm right here with you, okay? I'm here for you. Like you said, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll bust my balls and do what I can for you. You. Jack, I'm here for you. You have people that, that, that are depending on you. The people. The people, well, like... Why, why, I mean, we have people at work that are counting on you, that want to see you. disagree with that. So let, let me do this, Jack. Like I said, you asked me to give you a call. I'm talking with you on the telephone. Yeah, you said, well, you said, hey, call me on my phone. And then you gave me the telephone call. Yeah. Okay, well, this morning you asked me to give me a call. You said call you on your telephone. To what? To what? Sounds like he may be wrapping up shot on the fire. Jack, let me just take you up to the hospital, but you can decompress. I would say my ship pump is working on it. Once you take your blood, Jack, that, the only way that that would happen is that if the hospital deemed that you were a danger to yourself and 
kept in the field for 30 days. Because in the state of Maryland, they kept in the field for 30 days or more, and they are uh, ineligible to then present us for having a firearm. Okay. That's, I mean, that's your choice, but I'm just saying, I'm trying to explain to you that the only way you can raise your firearms is that if you were committed for 30 days or more, and then, you know, by law, then yes. But this right here, now, come with me, take you up to the hospital, talk with the docs, get you the hell out so you can get home, get to work. Yeah, I get it. It sounds like, you know, it's a white That's what I'm saying. comes this flag. What was that? A flag. Flag. Told you. Okay, I saw it. Okay. Why why why'd you throw the flag out? Well can they throw out a flag? Okay. Yeah. Shotgun again, it sounds like. Again, it sounds like he's racking a the shotgun. You know, commitment and courage should do that too. I mean, not everybody can just do that. Come on now, Jack. Jack, come on, buddy. Come on. You're talking to me. Look, you're willing to come outside. Just come with me, please.
until you get both of them. What if he says that? Said Eddie Wook. You said you'd be willing to have Eddie Eddie Wook take you up to the hospital. Eddie, who? The, the chief of Sykesville Fire Department. So if I, so okay, if I if I can make this happen, Jack, would you? What would have to, We could work this together. If I can get Eddie up here, how will I get you to come out of the house and trust me that I will get you to Eddie? I'm not going to lie to you and just tell you, yeah. Uh, you know, Eddie's here, and he's not, and, and you stay in the house. Uh, like I said, I have no reason to lie to you. If I can get Eddie up here, are you willing to come out of the house and let me and Eddie take you up to the hospital? Okay. Is, and, and you're willing to do that. So let me ask you this. You come out of the house, okay, Eddie gets here, you come out of the house, and they've guns in your hands, Nothing like that. Okay. Okay. I have him on mute so he can't hear me. He said he's willing to come out if Eddie Wook comes up here. Okay. So, can we try and make that happen? I'm talking to the Lieutenant. All right. See if we can at least make it happen. It, and get there, him. there is no Deputy Brian Long. Okay. That's fine. He's on mute so he There's can't hear There's a Westminster me. City and he is working right now. Okay. See if he can come down here at least. What's his name? Officer who? It's, you have Deputy Brian Long. Mount Airy's not working. Okay, who is a Westminster City officer? It, it's Long. I don't know what his first okay, name is. Okay, okay. Right. See if he can at least come down and escape me. I'm taking him off the of Jack, you still there, bud? Okay, so the, the officer Long, does he work for Westminster City Police Department mm -hmm. or uh, Mount Airy? Okay, because um, my partner was telling me that there's an officer long that works for Westminster City Police Department. Okay, all right. So my, my partner is now working on getting Eddie up here to see about getting in touch with Eddie to get him up here. 
So if I get Eddie up here, I have your word that you'll come out and that we'll resolve this and that we'll get you up to the hospital. Okay. So, like I said, my partner's working on to see about getting Eddie up here. And, and I'm going to take you as a man for your word. And then he will come out when, if, if we can get Eddie to come up here. Is that fair enough? Okay. So, I'm, my partner's... Okay, well, like I said, um... He's working his paid job in Frederick right now. Okay. So apparently Eddie's working his paid job up in front. Did you know he works up in front? He's a fire marshal up in front. Okay. But if if well, well I mean, well, okay. What I'm saying is that even though Eddie's at his paid job right now. I'm sure that his bosses would understand that, hey, look, a friend of his needs help. Do you want Eddie to call him? trying to get Eddie. I'm trying to do what you're asking me to do. Eddie is working. Um, so I mean, we'll take that. for you and, and I look I'll even tell him hey look Jack's just you know he's not feeling good you don't have to know any different I can tell them for you hey look he's not feeling good he's not gonna be in today but he's gonna feel better tomorrow and he'll be in tomorrow would that be would that work for you okay I will do that for you can you please, okay so I will call them in the morning at nine o'clock will you let me take you up to the hospital Get you up there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I now it's still nighttime now. So out this front door. Uh, the, oh, yeah, they have one we'd probably be better, better off with using guys from here at the Bearcat. Let me take you up to the hospital. I'm um, going I'll stand right there next to you and call this count liquor. You can hear exactly what you're doing. That way you know I'm the man of my work. So let me get you up to the hospital. That way you can get this completed and get now back Now that's the problem is with those steps and that little porch there. It's going to be hard for us to get him up quick enough. I'll be right like there with he's, you. Unless he's all, all the way down off the porch. I'll make the phone call and you stand um, right there with me. Yeah, because I was thinking that, that too. You know, I'll watch that door. You know, Ryan. I know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, just, I don't think he'd have to, he'd have to be all the way down off there, so. Okay, so yeah. that's, that's, what's, that's what's upsetting you tonight, is that you'd like to see your granddaughter?
you'll see his silhouette. Hey, Jack, Vince, I appreciate you for uh, picking up the phone and talking to me, okay? Please give me a call. All right. Not the answer now. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. CNT, can they call back and answer? Not picking up the fan. Hey Jeff, just uh, never mind. It's on my camera. I, I, I got it rolling. That way you can see how many times I've called you. I appreciate you for picking up the phone. I just want to talk. Can you guys hear that? Like I said, Eddie's on his way here. If you just please pick up the phone and I talk with you, I really appreciate it. We were having a good conversation. Like I said, Eddie's on his way up here. Okay? I'm not lying to you. You've done nothing wrong. There's been no crime committed. Eddie's on his way up here, so please just pick up the telephone and talk with me. Vinny, where do you want him to go? Go who? Eddie? Yeah, when he gets here. <sighs> that's up to these guys yeah, here. Lieutenant's to... asking. Okay, that's up to these guys here. Yeah, he can be escorted up here behind a cat. Okay. This... He may have to get on that line. Yeah, I can't make that decision, Jeff. This is not... Let me try and call him again. Side, I think it's a bedroom. Talking about, Jack. I'm not being stupid, I don't know who you're talking about. Have you heard a cop inside that window? Okay. I'm thinking about it. I think he, he thinks he heard a cop outside that window. Nobody's coming into the house, okay? Alright? Eddie, Ed... Jack, I... Okay, I got on the... I got on the PA system, and I was trying to call out to you, so that what you heard was probably me. There's nobody by your window. I can see, like, where your window is. I can see it flashing like you were flashing the light. Yeah, I can see it. I can see you flashing the light. There's nobody by your window, Jack. I assure you. Like I said, I haven't lied to you, I'm not bullshitting you. 
Eddie's on his way here. He told me that if Eddie, you asked me to get Eddie, so my bosses got in touch with Eddie and his bosses and said, hey, can you please come up here? Jack is asking for you to come up here. So we have gotten that facilitated. So he told me earlier that if I get Eddie up here, that was one of the other people, is that you'd be willing to let him take you up to the hospital. Is that correct? Okay. Like I said, Eddie's on his way up here. He, he, we're, we're trying. He's on his way up here. Like I said, I'm not going to bullshit you and lie to you and tell you something just to, you know, get you to, you know, think whatever. I'm not going to tell you that the guy's coming. No. Okay. I was told it would be like 25 to 30 minutes, and that was several minutes ago. So, like I said, Eddie gets you. How do you want to facilitate this, Jack, when Eddie gets you? Do you, you want me to hand the phone over to Eddie and you guys talk? Okay. All right. And then once you guys talk, like I said, me and you, gentlemen's agreement, I did my part. I asked, I got Eddie up here. I'm asking you to stick by your part and let us get you up to the hospital. Eddie, um, I'm sure Eddie would be more, if he's a good friend like you're saying he is, and it sounds like he is, he's willing to come up here from Frederick right now at 240. Oh, okay, so he's your goddaughter's father? Okay, so it sounds like a stand up guy. He's willing to leave work now at 245 in the morning, 230, to come up here to help an old friend. What's that? So, I mean, yeah, that's very evident. That yeah. says a lot. And that he cares about you, and if he thinks enough of you and about you, and it says a lot about you. Hey, yeah, you guys have Whenever this how, Eddie how gets you, over there, you know and I have you Eddie. and Kozlo go over there and escort him back. Back here. Back to here, probably. Twenty-six years. Okay, that's awesome. I mean, that sounds like a great relationship that you guys have built over twenty-six years. <laughs> well, it sounds like that he looks up to you then and he has a lot of respect and admiration for you. If he's willing to leave Wolf and come up here and talk with you. Oh. I mean, that's that sounds great. I mean, I, I hope that Eddie can get here very soon. That way you guys can talk on the telephone. And that... Are you guys? Are you guys gonna invest this Eddie guy when he gets here and make sure that like everything's kosher between him and this guy and like try to verify the story? As best we can. Apparently they work. This the guy, the chief, like the farm. This guy works on the. He tried calling him. Chief tried calling him earlier. Yeah, I, I chew tobacco. I, that's that's mine here too. That's me. Coffee and tobacco. That's me. Okay. Okay. Save 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 money, right? I I I don't blame you one bit. Do they, do they sell them at a uh, liquor store? Hey Dave. Yeah. Once, uh, oh, okay. once I didn't Eddie gets over there, the store, I'll send us dudes and cause this down for. to grab him. Tyler said that they're going to try to vet him as best they can. So. Okay. You said you can't find your lighter? Okay. Do you have matches? What is it? So, is it like one of those kind of uh, those Mac uh, lighters that has like the long handle? Okay, good, good. Okay, have a smoke. Take a deep breath. Good. That's good. That's all.
It sounds like Eddie loves you. Eddie, Eddie cares a lot about you. And like I said, or else he wouldn't be leaving work to come up here. Eddie's going to be here any minute. Eddie's going to be here any minute. So there's no reason for anybody. Eddie's going to be here. Like if you ask me, I'm getting him up here. No, nobody's around this corner that I can see. I, Jack, Eddie's on his way up here. Take a smoke, take a deep breath, just relax. You're doing fine. Okay? Like I said, I have no reason to bullshit you or lie to you. I wouldn't tell you that Eddie's coming and that's not the truth. And I think when Eddie gets here, you can actually trust me, believe me, that what I'm saying is real. And I have no reason to lie to you. I haven't and I'm not going to. Well, they're just, they're just talking about, okay, they're just relaying to one another that, hey, Jack's now standing on the front porch. That's, and he's smoking a cigarette. That way, everybody knows that you. Right, exactly, and that's exactly what they're talking about. Is that they'll communicate with each other that hey, Jack's taking a break. He's smoking a cigarette. He's on the telephone. That he doesn't have any firearms or any guns in his hands. That's what they're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I mean, you know, that was hours ago, you know, that we, somebody said that you, you know, we're going to shoot the cops, but I disagree because you threw a nice flag out here that said you backed the blue. You volunteer with the fire department. I don't know anybody that has a flag that says back the blue or that volunteers. What's that? You got what? Right. So I don't know anybody that, that backs the blue and is a volunteer firefighter and is going to shoot a cop. So, I, you know, like I said, I have all the respect for you, Jack. Um, you know, I, you, you've been doing it for, you said, 27 years? Obviously, 26 years. Okay, but that was not something you had any control over, because I'm sure if you didn't have the screw, you'd be still doing it, right? Okay, so I mean, you did it for 26 years, something beyond your control, you know, you had no control over it. Okay, so you must have made a good impression on Eddie because he's now evolved. Where does, where does he work? He said he works up in Franklin County. What's he doing in Franklin County? He's a fire marshal in Franklin County. Jack, Jack, Eddie's yeah. almost here. I'm not bullshitting. Jack, Jack, just stay outside. Like you do. Jack, Eddie's almost here. I'm not bullshitting you. Okay? He's, he's almost here. As soon as he gets here, we'll get him up here. Okay? Say, what did. How did. How did. Eddie decide to go into the fire department and become a fire marshal. That was probably from your guides and your knowledge, right? Okay. So I mean, no, no, I was asking, I was like, what, what helped Eddie decide to go into the fire department and become a fire marshal? That was probably, that was more than likely your inspiration and your guidance with him. I, I don't think anybody else will just drop what they're doing and come up to him. So it sounds like you had a hell of a good impression on him and you taught him a lot. You even said the same thing. He's in his official vehicle. He should be here any minute. So, uh, my, my shift party. What's that, Ed? What's that, Jack? 
Denzel Washington? Why do you feel like Denzel Washington? Jack, why, why do you feel like Denzel Washington? I thought that was uh, somebody else in that movie. Yeah, I think it was Samuel L. Jackson and uh, yeah, it was uh, him. And I can't remember what the other guy's name was. The uh, the negotiator that uh, Samuel Jackson wanted to come in and talk to. Get a license to ride that thing. Very true. Yeah. So, uh, Kevin Spacey, that was the other guy's name. Yeah. So, uh, why, why is it that, uh, is that what you think this is? I said, is that what you, uh, is that what you, you think I am? Is, uh, Kevin Spacey? Uh, or Chris Sabian? Yeah, that was the character's name that... Yeah. Yeah, what did, what did, uh, what did uh, Samuel L. Jackson say? I want to talk to Chris Sabian. Okay. Well, I have your Chris Sabian on the way. And that, and that is Eddie. So, like I said, I've, I've, I've you know, been upfront and honest with you. I'm not going to bullshit you or lie to you. You asked me to give you a call a little while ago. I've been on the phone with you, talking to you. We've had a good conversation. Like I said, we agree that once Eddie gets here, you'll have a conversation with him on the telephone, and then we'll get you up to the hospital. And then that way, like I said, if you want me, and, and then... Jack, that's going to be up to the hospital, but again, like I said, I have no reason to lie to you. I've never... In my 27 years on the job, go I've never truck. seen right anybody... Be held for 72 hours. I, I said I don't. I, I've never seen that. So I mean, <laughs> give me props for. With, with, okay, I, I remember hearing a little bit about it. I was not working when that happened. What, um, I know that the guy showed up there. Um, okay. what, what happened? Well, I mean, you go with that. He's here. Yeah, he's here. Give me Jansen. Yeah, Jack. Yeah. Like yep. said, Where are you coming from? Eddie's here. We're gonna bring him up here to the scene. We'll have a conversation. Okay. 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 It's probably gonna be walking through there. Hey, Cause, I think they're coming from this direction. I see him. So he's here. He's here. Eddie is, yeah. Jansen's walking him up.
Coming up behind him, right? So just keep, keep on going for more. Yes, they they can see they can see that stuff. Why don't you take a step over so you're more, stay right, over this place right behind him. There you go. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Wow, bud. So, we can ask him who's ready to come out. Yeah, I'm going to die. Maybe. Tell Jack. Okay. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Let's be ready to go hands for me if he comes back. Yep. Side. Yeah. Supposedly he's looking for his gun, he's looking for his AR. That's what he said? Yeah. Alright, I guess he uh, told the guy on the phone that he's looking for his AR now. For his gun. So. Nobody's gonna hold you. Okay, come on out. He said they're set up on that side. To receive, that way. to receive him, yeah. Why are you just going to take your gun? Why would we take your gun? If he does, like, come out and then get, like, halfway and try to turn to get back or whatever, uh, he's always got the form, okay. so I'll just, just, just be ready. Just okay, yeah. Just because somebody goes to the room so you get evaluated and checked out, doesn't necessarily mean that your gun is going to be taken. So, like Eddie was saying, nobody's going to help you. What are going to do? I just 
Just make, try to stay behind good cover because if he is getting a rifle or something. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to Dave about that. The problem is with that porch and those steps. Yeah. There's a 
it's no easy to get a way to get up and get a hold of it. Um, you would almost have to come like off the steps, off the porch, off of the yard. Yeah, so I was thinking, why is it out here? We could maybe like drive the robot up to it and see if that brings some kind of curiosity. Right now it seems to be intoxicated. So if we could like drive the robot up to it, see if he, you know, gets interested in that. I don't know. I mean, he, he seems to be very, like, sketched out and irritated. Of, like, a minute ago, he, he was telling me, he was like, there's a police outside my window, I can hear him. And he was like, flipping the lights on and off in the window and stuff. And he thought that we were outside his window and he was like, hey, there's nobody out there. And he was like, he was pointing at those guys earlier, like, one had to leave. So, I don't know. Like, I feel like the minimal, I feel like minimal police intervention or presence at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know that we draw his curiosity enough to pour him off the, you know, if anything in play. Like, you know, get a gun, try to shoot him, scare him, you know what I mean? I mean, I even thought about that if he, if he's out in front of the for a long time, he could sneak in out of other doors, so he get in behind him, so he can't get back in, but, I mean, that's going to take some slick coordination too. Um, he's intoxicated enough right now to kind of, kind of, you know, maybe pull the leaves on him at least, yeah. at least slow down a little bit. I mean, he has heard him, you know, rack and shark, but what he did, he thinks he's racking the shark, but I mean, he had that good shot that shell, so, and he said a minute ago when he hung up that he was only going to get his AR, you know, and then he called back, say he's looking for a five millimeter, so, It seems to be that he's very concerned about those of his guns. It's one of the things that he's been keeps telling him, like, nobody wants to come take your guns, like, nobody wants to search your house for your guns. Like, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this together, okay? I'll talk you through it. Nothing, nobody's going to vote you, okay? Except you can go and see if you decide to fall in the for 26 years. You know the cops are not just out here to just shoot you for later. You don't do that. And we're not going to do that. You and Kevin be an argument man that I know that you are working two jobs. You help them for good.
just then.
virus then. Right. How about this? If you can't find it, then come on out. I will let Eddie find the medication. Is that, that, that's no one in the other point, anybody else in the house. Eddie can find it. Can you tell him what it is? I, <coughs> you don't know where it is?
Hey, RP, do, uh, do you have a RP? Do you have the briefing location for Tuesday morning yet? For the Baltimore? Yeah, it's the same. It's, uh, I forgot what he told me. I got it now. I'll put it out today. Okay. It's, uh, King, Kingsville. Someone like in Kingsville. Yeah. Did he? No. 
I didn't see anything on this. When he, he acted like he cut his throat, nothing. He was like kind of looking at there, and there was no blood or anything. Then he pulled up his shirt and tried to like pretend yeah. like he stabbed himself. Nothing there. Does he have an AR-15, do you know? Rumor. Rumor, but... Okay. I wish I had his... I, my other phone, I could call his daughter again. She said he had a couple of guns, but he... Should, yeah. I didn't ask her specifics. Okay. talking just fine. If, if, Eddie, God damn it. Alright, now he's getting amped up even more. Last couple minutes. This, this is, He's been steady Eddie as far as his demeanor. He's off the phone now, hung up again. Seems to be getting more amped up <clears throat> in the last few uh, minutes. He said he took more medication. Um, that's what he claims. And I heard him feeling and stuff. I couldn't hear a gun racket earlier, a shotgun racket earlier. I told Jesse that. Um, my voice is kind of worse. Um, <clears throat> he's, he's amped up the last couple of minutes. So right before he came out a few minutes ago the first time, uh, he was fine, steady Eddie, you know, no problem. He just Yes. Now, he just, now, I, I wasn't pushing him in, I just said, hey, uh, but that's, that's, I don't know what, what he just said, he's going to do it all, he's going to end it all, and he's going to do fucking around him, and then his family doesn't care about him, and the goes, so, uh, it sounds like, his, his anger and upsetness is he feels maybe with his family and his daughter and his granddaughter. He can't see his granddaughter. He can't see his granddaughter and that his daughter is a 99 dispatcher. Uh, so he's been making circles. And he asked me if he could have a cigarette once he came out and we put him in handcuffs with Eddie. I said, yes, it's fine. So I keep telling him, hey, I've delivered all my promise to get him here, which we have. And I think he's either, Dave, honestly, I think he's working up the one or two things. So he's either working up the courage for him to hurt himself, or us to do it for him, or for him to get himself up. And then it's the option, sorry. So he hung up on me again, Jeff. You want to get. Teddy, out of here. What do you guys think about that? I don't think that he's... I don't know if Eddie's right back here. He expressed interest about talking to him again, but I've done what Jackson wanted to get Eddie here. So, that is no good at this point. Right. That I thought that that would. So, um, yeah, if we want to have him get into the staging area in case we need, if, if he's willing to, if, if he's willing to do that, we we'll do it that time. Right. Now, if 
told you, you have a command of the car. His other thing is that uh, I'm going to take all his guns and my tree. You have a command of the car. You have your thought. Uh, he's like, I'll never get a gun again. I'm like, I've got to be commanded for 30 days. Benny. Yes. I'm going to take him down. Okay. Is there enough? There's, there's another water bottle here? Somewhere? And a and full one? Actually, I'll wait till I'm going to come. Right. When do we know when he's passed out? Well, see, I've done um, he did say that he was taking his blood pressure medication um, like 10 minutes ago. So he said he had, he found three or four of them. I think he was just joking me around about finding the fourth one. He was finding the courage to do what he just did. So. Well, I'll tell you now, let us Diane said her and uh, Pettis are coming.
You want to bump up there with Watson? Yeah. Maybe we can switch out just so we keep like two guys up there together. What's that? Paper copy of it? No. In fact, I don't. I didn't, don't have the Erpo. I only have the search warrant. You guys have a copy of the Erpo? Sure. I'll just go ask Mona Radio. Get that, but they were asking. You have to fall, Stoops. <laughs> I tripped on that thing. Watson, you want to hop in the cat and take a break for a minute? Thanks. Are you, yeah. What time do you want me back out? Uh, I don't know. Take ten or okay. Yeah, whatever. Take a break for a few minutes and then okay. man a few minutes. Yeah. Swap swap out. Try to get everybody a little break. Yeah, to this? yeah man. There you go. Hop in and take a break, Bert. What's that? I'll hop in and take a break for a few. I'm just gonna sit down. Huh? So I'm just gonna sit down. No, I don't need a break. We're here. You'll sit here? Sit on the skid? You don't wanna sit by the exhaust pipe. Why? That's how you get that's how you get medical. Oh. You know what I'm Yeah, I'd be laying down there then. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm gonna have like
You want to push back around with Danny just in case he happens to come out the other door? Thanks. I mean, you don't have to. I just didn't know if I was in your way.
you say? Yeah, right. you got no, they just said he's in the bathroom. He's got a lot of stuff. the engine for a second. Say again? Okay. You need to get to a bathroom? Well, why don't you just take a seat then? Right there. Alright, he's out on the steps. We're talking to him. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Can you can you make okay. it down the stairs? You all right? Okay. 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 You're all right. That's fine. Can can you make it down these stairs at all? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. We can make something happen for you. So you can come in here, wash me poop. I don't care. Just, just come walk down to us for a second, okay? We can take you back into the bathroom, buddy. All right. We'll get you back in there. I promise. All right. Can you just come down the steps? No. Let's see why you talk. <laughs> well, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Come on, man. I wonder if he don't like you. If we advanced on him at all, he would have yeah, the same same up. probably the same result. Well, he said we could come in and watch him poop. Well, well. That's nice. I mean, if you tell him that he can poop in uh, one, two, one, two little lights are going in that bedroom. Yeah, whatever that's the left. Yeah, I guess it's the bedroom. Yeah. Okay. All right, I won't say anything this time. Probably going to take a long drive, man. Is it going to be Oh, he's back inside. 
Going straight to voicemail now. 
when he was out there, he said, he said, I know myself, and I'm gonna have to poop in like two minutes. That's why he said, he didn't, huh? Well, and that's why he was saying he didn't want to come down here, because he said, he, he's like, you can come in and watch me poop if you need to. I'm like, just come on down here, like, we'll get you back in there, like, you know. And then he just like turned around and ran and slammed the doors. So I don't know if nature called, like, right at that second. Sad. Bathroom lights back off. The bathroom lights back off now. Yeah. What's up? Back off. The bathroom lights back off, yeah.
can't be worried about you can try on your cell phone and turn it to your cell phone phone. Thank you. 
Jack. Go back up to the porch so that we can talk. Can have it. That's the best way for us to be able to hear you. Threw out? No, he stabbed in the deck. Oh, yeah. Just watch your muzzle with the bear cat. I know, I know, I know. Watch your offset. Jack, put the gun down. No one wants to hurt you. Everyone stay behind good Jack, time. put the gun down. No one wants to hurt you. Jack, put the gun down. We want to get you the help that you need. Though you're going through a hard time, let us help you. Jack, give us a chance to know what's going on. Tell us what's happening. Nothing is impossible. 
Hey, just remember, we got Jack. Jack, put the gun down for the Too, this parking lot over here where command staff is, like there's yeah. Jack, we know you're upset. The, the highway's Point open straight. too, so just if Come he points his gun down that help. direction. Dave, do they want to shut the road back down? They did. They did? Okay. Jack, come up top to the guitar. We know you're injured. We know you're upset. We want to help you. Jack, we want to help you. It's hard to hear what you're saying. You have to put the dot down. I'm about to lay 
Jack. I'm still trying to follow you, so hold on. That's right, we have a medic in the Bearcat and a medic on the front side, too. Alright, we're going to have to close off the door, too. Jack, we're worried about that. Go back to the okay. door for the little guitar. If he, if he yeah, comes back out on the porch him. again, Roy might try the 40 on him. Door so that we can talk to you. Just leave the gun inside. Come on, he's got the gun. I mean... Somewhere. Good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, we're concerned about you. Bill wants to hurt you. Come back to the court so that we can see you and talk to you. Jack, put the gun down so that we can talk to you. Jack, no, he comes out with that AR. Put the gun down yeah. so that we can talk to you. He may have He's pointing the pistol right back at us again right now. I don't know how long we're going to have to deal with that. Jack, come out up to the porch so we can hear you better. We can't talk to you. We're trying to help you. He's pointing that pistol at every place right now. Jack, it's hard for me to talk to you when you're pointing the gun at me. Put the gun down so we can help you. No one wants to hurt you. Put the gun down so that we can talk. We can help you with any issue you have going on right
Yeah, three CS four. is on three four. Okay. They can see three and four.
you going to try and take a 40 shot on him? Yeah, if he comes out on that porch, we're off him. I, I mentioned that to Dave. Dave said he didn't think it was a good idea to try and take a 40 shot with, with the gun at his hand like that. I mean, sympathetic reflex. Is it could, at his hand? What's that? Is it at his hand? Are you shooting it at his hand or just at his Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, so do you, that's the thing, right? Like, that could hurt him. I know. And then, like, we're not giving him what he wants, essentially. Because we played the game now a handful of times. Yeah, yeah I So know. What, what time is it? I know. So, I think everybody's on that page. Like, I'm just giving it a try. Well, the other thing, i got to make sure all the other guys know that that's going off because, of, you know, from their position. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think he still just wants to... We moving up? Yeah, it's a good angle to the, to the right. Hey, we're gonna move up an angle to the right. Hey, just get back behind, guys. Make sure you got good cover back here. Don't worry about those drinks. Are you going further? That's not good. It's better, it's better. I'll put you there. Yeah, this is better. I think. You're still thinking uh, no go and give him the 40 a try if he comes out on the porch again? Versus the lethal? Yeah, I mean, that's the only other option. I mean, that's the two options. Well, lethal. Lethal. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know if the 40's going. Yeah. It's their purpose when there's a lethal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, Track him.
I was asking why we moved it. I said so you guys had better. Here, 
the stock point at glass, then I can have be one less thing. It's a lot to look at. Because I'm thinking that what he's going to be looking at me is like that.
Shots fired. Yep. He fell backwards into the into the uh, house. Hey, bring Watson around. And grab the bunker. Get the uh, get the uh, bot over here. Hey, get the bot over here. What's that? He just fell backwards after. I mean, it, it was the shot broke good. Get the bot up there. Run it up there. Go ahead and run it. What's wrong? Okay. Yep. Is that normal for it to take that long? Okay. What's that? No. I see the gun laying there on the floor, though. Once we get ready to push up, you can take lead. Uh, you need, need a guide left, Roy. Should be in the door to the right, Roy, where the direction he went. Huh? Okay.
You got this for a second. I'm gonna just. Do you see him? I think that's him right there. Yeah, that's right inside the door to the right. Okay. I saw a lot of blood on the floor right at the entrance. You can't? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get up a little bit closer to see if I. So it looks like you fell on the couch, maybe? Yep. I'm trying to get it over there. Alright. Yeah. Did he have shoes on though? I don't remember. So where's the... Yes, there's a door, so it should be just in that. Yeah, now go up. see the blood? Yeah, now go up. You see the gun laying there too? Yeah, that's, that's his feet there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hey Dave, looks yep. like he oh, fell onto the couch. We can yep. see his feet. There's blood on the floor, okay. and I see the handgun, so I'm I'm comfortable pushing up to check on him. Yeah, take the guys okay. Hey, which you want to step from here, Jeremy? Or you want to go step off the front? Uh, uh, yeah, step from here, but he just closed the door. Not the robot did. Ah, uh, the robot closed it. Freaking a! I think you pushed the door shut. Yeah, I was trying to back up to get a better. All right, we'll just keep keep eyes on him. Hey Stoops, push around to the back here. Pull around to the back with Jeremy. There's a shoe. The robot. I think just leave it there so you got visual that he doesn't move. You see, it's, it's more than just a shoe, right? It's hard to I mean, it's hard to tell when he's up elevated. But I saw him like fall that way. I saw him fall back here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. You good. Yeah, following him up. Just keep eyes on Roy. Trail us up. Who would you who do you want hands? Um. Hey. So let's. Do you want to push up to the corner? Let those guys link up with us. Yeah. So we have extra like they can meet us at the bottom of the steps. Yeah. Let's go over right, this way. Right, yeah. Listen up, we're going to push to the steps here in a second to the uh, entry point. Danny, you and Jansen fall in behind us once we get to the bottom of the steps there. Copy. All right, so it'll be us three initial, then a little break, and then you guys trail. All right. Okay, go ahead. I'm with on the side. Yep. I think we can, I guess there's no way to get that door from down no. without going up on there. Got a pipe hole. If it's open already, you could probably push it open. I don't know if it's, it looks like it's already open. Jack, we're calling. Okay, oh. let's go up. Let's you two post on the left side there, on the hinge side. See yeah. if you can pop the door and get a look in with the bunker, okay? Because yeah, that's the direction there that we need to be looking. Okay, he's got eyes on him. You still got eyes, Roy? Yeah. All right, go ahead. There's yep. There. Right. Yeah. Put the foot. Got blood at the door jam there, yep. so. Jack, let me see your hands, brother. Jack, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, brother. Jack, let me see your hands. Okay, we gotta go hands on him. Go hands. Yep, gotta go hands on him. Go hands. You got him. I need two when ready. Jack, talk to me, brother. Jack. Jack. Cuff them to the front if you can. Come on, we gotta get them out of here. Let me know when it's clear, I can call medics up. Let's go, let's go. Here, help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Hold them straight. All right, we let's got him confirmed down. We're working him now. Get the medic unit up to the top, uh, top of the uh, driveway. Go ahead and bring the medic unit up to the uh, to the barricade. Hey, hey yeah, grab I, his I right arm to get him on his back. Get him on that. There you go. Hey, go Check push in here, Roy. Check for a fall. Hey, if you guys want to. Push a little deeper and secure it. Okay, all right. Push it there. All right. Start CPR. Say no pulse. No pulse. CPR. All right, no pulse. Starting CPR. Hey, Roy. 
Actually, you, you stay there, just stay there with them. Did we already break uh, that yeah. first one? Right Did we get there? that first yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. We got this closet? Yeah, no, yeah. We got all this. Small, okay. So initials up here are good. Can you pop that door? Pop that door. This here? Yeah. Popping a door on the uh, three, four. All right, I need hands here. Yeah. I need hands. Keep an eye on that attic. Let's get one of robot out of the way. Yep. Slide him up. Slide him up. Pull him up higher. Slide him up. Yeah. Hey, let me get ahead of. I'll take the head. I can. I can take this end if you want me to. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. Let's stand up for a second, Karolinko. Stand up for a second. Let me get through. Okay. Are we ready? One, two, three. Stop taking off since you get the ambulance. Down the stairs to the right. Good, Jesse. Watch your step, watch your step, watch your step. Right Make sure what? Make sure they're paying attention. There's nothing breaking. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. Just slow it down. Make sure you're uh, being real careful. Make sure there's nothing booby trapped, nothing rigged. All right. I guess let's leave. Yeah, Not touch anything. Initials are all done on the first floor, the main level here, right? And we're just on the attic now. Initial clear is all done. We're just checking the attic now. Waddell, are you guys okay? Do we get around this stuff good or not? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean there's... I don't think there's anybody else in here. We'd know it by now. Yeah. It's a real gun. Let's move some of this. Just put it in there. Well, just so we can get the. Uh, So let me clear everybody out, but maybe one person till crime scene or CD or whoever. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. Yeah. Once who else is in here? Just you. Danny. Yeah. Dan. And, uh, Boston's also back here. Hey, once we're good with the uh, main clears. Yeah. Uh, just need one person staying here. Everybody else go out until a CED or crime scene ever gets here. Okay. All right.